how's everybody doing? Welcome back to That's That Podcast on YouTube. Oh, I know I'm behind here. Because by the time this even gets filmed, Batch Review of Issue 15 will be up. But I don't buy these anymore. I buy them when the cover catches mine. I got a little extra catch. It's Grand House Purgatory Issue. Well, man, yeah, man. It's Issue 14, but I don't see that anywhere on this damn cover. Okay, that's one minus for you there, Pete. You got this. Okay, volume one, issue one. This is from 2019, so last year. I do love this. No part of this publication can be duplicated in any way without express permission of the publisher, except for the pictures. The pictures we already stole. Knock yourself out. <laughs> it's just Pete's little editorial. This is the best one. The Celebrity Pet and Zoo one. I love this. You can tell me how, you know, how much these celebrities are charging now. To go in and get a picture with him and get him to sign autograph at conventions is fucking ridiculous. All the people that died, we got Dick Miller, Paul Coslow, Larry Cohen, Susan Bernard, Billy Drago, Peggy Lipton, Stephen Hawks, Isabel Sarit Sarley, Peter Mayhew. Okay, I had to think first. I knew the name Seymour Castle. Okay. Joe Pilato, John Carl Bugler. Beverly Owens, Jan Michael Vincent, Julie Adams, and Pedro Morales. Then we're going to a nice article on Dick Miller. That's that guy, Dick Miller. Honestly, if it wasn't for Steve Machine, I'd probably see more films. When it, and most, after I've seen the most films, it's going to be Dick Miller, because Dick Miller's in so much stuff. I mean, my generation is known as the guy from Gremlins, but good, good article here on Larry Cohen. I love Larry Cohen. Blu-ray review of the stuff. Lustig's Law, Vigilante. Not one of Lustig's better films, but not one of his worst either. Growing up watching Bronson, watching Death Wish with Grabby Grannies. I, I could have wrote this article. I grew up watching Bronson. My father's a huge Charles Bronson fan. And I saw every one of the Death Wishes, every other Charles Bronson fan that was easily available back then. Red Sun, uh, Magnificent Seven, The Mechanic. Hickey and Boggs, the Ice Five team reunite. Yeah, after the I Five went up there, they reunited Robert Culp and Bill put put the pudding pop in them if they ain't even giving you permission. Cosby did another spy kind of spy thing. I Five was what? This is back. Terminal Island. I want to see this. I mean, Phyllis Davis. Look at that. This is a gorgeous one. Terminal Island sounds pretty cool. Another one I got to eventually see all of this. I've seen this image for years with the monster holding the tapidated head. And that's for 59. Think about it. In 59, did you see the capitated heads in horror films? No. That's just mind blowing. They actually got away with that. That's the monster of Pedro's Blancas. It's about a guy who worked for Wave. If you read any independent film mag back in the late 90s, Wave was this company that specialized in fetish videos, and you pay them and they'd make your movie, and then they'd sell copies of it. Like Tina Krause came out of there. Uh, She's probably the only one who came out big, but this guy worked for a while and they started his own company called, uh, Sharky Video. And it's just talking about, you know, this guy's something I like here. Little people I've never heard of, but it's an interesting little interview. Sharky's Machine, Bird at his best. I've actually never seen all of Sharky's Machine. I own it. The man that changed his name to LQ Jones. The Chupa vs. Bloodshack, The Last Hurrah, Ray Dennis Stickler, and Ron Haydock. You see a lot of writing. These, I mean, they're eight bucks, but they're worth it to me. Roaring Fire, Sonny Chiba. Health Nuts, Death Spa, Robicide, aka Killer Workout. The Vampire Beast Craves Blood and the Curse of the Blood Ghouls. Huh, how to suck patient patrons into a shitty double bill. <laughs> The winner of 1849, Andrea True's Dirty Western. The zombie genre, Dead and Buried. Tell me how Michael Jackson's story. The zombie genre, huge. Which it did. I want to see this life after, after Beth with a... Ah, shit. Aubrey Plaza. Hey, you go, Cody. I know you're watching. Looking back to 1963, King Kong versus Godzilla. Yeah, Pete does two pages on it. I want him dead. If there ain't no name underneath the theme, I just assume Pete wrote it. Career criminals go grindhouse, but all the, the mobster films and that kind of shit they're showing at the grindhouse. There's old Bronson. That's a long article. Getting close to my favorite one in here. The Devil's Reign, which is a cool little film. 
Classic Image, of course. The interior writer, writer director, Eric Whitting. And he says on Amazon Prime, kind of screws people over. And then we get to When Characters Were King, Old School Wrestling. Now, this is a one, two, three, four, five, six page article on just all kinds of old school heels that Pete loved. And like this, this Hall of Fame fan book, The Heels, I own that. I, I gotta get in touch with Pete. I got some wrestling stuff I wanna write. Cool shit department. There's a Bronson book, there's a Sadu book. Battles, bouts, and brawls. The story pro wrestling. That's the Detroit footage. Blood Island. I love this art here. Suburban Grindhouse book. Midnight Mass is Northampton, Massachusetts. I'm out of drive in or a grindhouse. And then, last little piece, and that's it. And this one, for some reason, does not have a print date. Most of these, and this is what's blowing my mind here. Coming out over from Happy Cloud Media LLC. Night Living Dead 90, the version you've never seen. What is this? Is this a script? And they found the footage and they're doing a bootleg. I want to know because I really want to know what this is. Pete, if you're watching, please surprise. I know you watch a few of these. Well, I hope you enjoy it, man. We support your local zines. I mean, back when I was a kid and into my teens, the zines were the only way you found out about movies that weren't playing in any theaters. I mean, yeah, Fango would cover some stuff, but there's a lot of stuff that Fango would carry. A lot of stuff you had to get through the zines. And they're still going. I mean, you got Groundhouse Purgatory, you got Exploitation Nation, you got Sleeve Speed Magazine, you got, uh, Video scope, uh, shock cinema is still around. I mean, a lot of them are gone, yes. You know, some of the classes like Psychotronic and um, Video Watchdog and Cult Movies and those are gone, but we got, you know, newer ones. And you get them direct, I mean, eight bucks. No ads, really, besides the back cover. And I was paying that much for an issue of, you know, Video Watchdog when we went under. I hope everybody enjoyed that. I mean, if you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye bye.